In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an Excel sheet into a calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button, uh, run calendar. And now it's going to ask me for the date. So I'm going to go with July, which is 7 forward slash 1 slash 2024. And then I'm going to go enter. Now, July starts on a Monday. And so it has found Monday in the calendar and has started the dates for, from there to enter them into the calendar. So let me first show you. I have a blank that I copied to create this. So I'm going to unhide it. And it's called blank. Okay, so the blank is basically a sheet. And what I've done is I've made the calendar the columns B through H, and I've made them 16.3 wide. And then I have started with row five down to row 10, and that's for the first set of dates. So I'm allowing five, five lines of information to be added into each day. And I've done that. So um, the first week it starts on week 10, and then the last week, row 34. That's, this is the calendar that I copy. Uh, when I'm running my little program. So I'm going to hide this again. And now let me show you the code. So I have a little user form that is basically just for you to enter the date in. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my little piece of code here. And it's called calendar. Now, what it's doing is it's finding my sheet that's hidden, which is called blank, and then it's making it visible, and then it's copying that to the end, of, so to the next sheet there of the, sheet, the workbook, and then it's making um, blank visible equals false, so it's hiding it again. And then it's calling show, which is my little program, which is my user form, and I have um, show is basically it's just um, it's showing that little user form, and this is the height and width. Okay, so then when you get when you get the user form, then it's going to take the date that you enter. So the start date is then put onto your active sheet B1 value, and then it, we're going to figure out the month. The month basically is what we're going to name our worksheet. So the month format is the start date, month, and year. So it's going to say. July 2024 on the bottom of the sheet. And now it's renaming the active sheet name equals month. So it's going to rename it to July 2024. And then it's going to take um, the weekday, de determine what weekday the start date's on. So day equals, you were using the weekday function, so it's a number. And we use the case select here. So if it's Sunday, then it's going to select uh, row 10, uh, column 2. And um, if it's Monday, then it's going to select row 10, column 3. So it basically, it's selecting the first row, whatever their pro appropriate date is. Then after it's done that, then what we're going to do is we're going to select the next column. And then we're going from row 10, that was our first week of updates, to row 34. Do while uh, column is less than nine because we went up to H, which H, which is eight, and the start date equals start date plus one. And active sheet sales value equals start date, and we're putting the start date in there. It's going um, all the way through columns until it gets to less than nine, and then it's going to the next row. And so the next row is R plus five because we have left five for each of those. Okay, so there's your there's your code for doing this. Now let's go back to our calendar. Now, if you wanted to put um, vacation in, or Joe for vacation here, then what you could do is you could click on that and you could say, oh, he's going to be on vacation till Saturday, and then you could. You know, you can keep putting in that uh, who's doing what, or we have a team meeting here.
and that type of thing. So you're, you can do whatever you like on your calendar and it truly looks like a calendar so you don't have to guess where things are. I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.